Big one. Hey, Reed. Uh, Can you tell that some of them are kind of green and some of them are kind of brown? Yeah. We want to go for the brown ones. They're more ripe. See, I think a pear might be better for you guys because these pears are actually ripe. Pears do taste better. I want this. Uh, son, that's kind of sour. I don't care. It's going to be like a sour candy that's not very good to eat. Say, please, can I have you it? You sure can. Hey, do you want to eat a green persimmon on the way home? A green persimmon? Yeah, but where are the persimmons? They grow on the persimmon trees. I let your mommy eat a green persimmon when I moved her to the farm years ago. She can tell you all about that. I'm yours, am I? <laughs> hey, hey, Daddy. Here, take a bite of this. Come here and take a bite. Right here. Yum, yum. Take a big bite. Daddy, you open my. mine. There you go. Mary Kate, take a bite. No. No? You don't want that? Okay. Like this. You want your apple? Sadie, why are you eating apple peels? <laughs> the dog is eating apple peels. <laughs> Daddy, I think that's enough. That dog will eat anything. Here, turn around. No, my dog. Tell everybody what you think about it. Is it good? Sour. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like that? I've got stickers all over my pants, don't I? That's a tick seed or a devil's pitchfork or something. It's a wildflower, an aster. Do you want the pear back? It tastes better. The pears are good. You can turn it around. There you go, Daddy. Oh, thank you. Did you get them all off? Can you get the rest? How do you tell if it's working? I think that's probably enough. That's what? No! We want to take more. You got the pitchforks? <laughs> Here, let me help. Let me help. Hey, we got you. Don't worry. We'll get them all off. It's okay. You need a snack, don't you? Hey, what hurts? Does your, does your teeth hurt? Which tooth? That, that one over there? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry your teeth hurt. Come here. I see you. I know. You're okay. Yeah.
No, I don't need any more just yet. See, sweetie, I gotta finish this one before I start another one, okay? I got this one, how are you? I see that. You're a big helper, thank you. What do you put it in there for? Well, that's so that I can go put it on the compost pile. Oh, I and, have two. Well, it's gonna be a while. I gotta peel a bunch of them. Hmm? Where? Well, people's gonna watch us on the video. Oh. Well, come here. You gotta come back here so they can see you. Say hi. Hi. I can beat you. <laughs> Here, Daddy. This is a big one. A super big one? <laughs> Sadie, do you like pears? Yep, you gotta work for it. What else can you do? Can you lay down? You don't. Mm -hmm. Can you roll over? Can you roll over? Can you roll over? Can you roll over? Roll over? All right, that's close enough. Can you speak? Speak? <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> Would you quit trying to eat my pears? Mm. Alright, good dog. Lady, you like pear? I'll help with the water. Can I help with you? I have less too. Can I help with you? Good dog. good.
I'm sneaking a biscuit right now, buddy. Can I sneak a biscuit? <laughs> yeah, come here. You want to buy it? So I planted a pear and apple orchard about 10 years ago now, and uh, the pears have done quite a bit better than the apples have. I think apples require more maintenance and work than what I've put into them, whereas the pears are just easy keeping. Uh, you don't do much to them. You know, just get the limb angles right as they start out, and then they kind of take care of themselves. I've actually got two varieties of pears. I've got a Korean giant, which is an Asian pear, and then the kefir pears which are more of a cooking pair. They're okay to fresh eat, but those, uh, those Asian pears are fantastic fresh eating. Um, but my Asian pears didn't produce well this year at all, and the kefirs just seem to truck along and produce every year. So I've been trying to think of something to do with them, and you know, as a family, we don't eat a lot of sugar, so you can make jams and jellies and preserves and things like that, but it's hard to find recipes without a lot of sugar. So I found a recipe for pear butter, and it's actually a recipe for pear and apple butter. I just substituted in pears. And it's sweetened with honey. It's got cardamom and some vanilla and a lot of cinnamon in it. It's just fantastic. So uh, we ended up with about four pints out of four and a half pounds of pears. And I'm thrilled with it. It smells fantastic. It smells like fall. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, give me a like. And I'll see you on the next one.